In a recent study, researchers found that people are less likely to suffer from Parkinson's disease if they have their appendix removed early in life. Parkinson's disease is a brain disorder that affects movement. Symptoms start gradually that lead to shaking, stiffness, and difficulty with walking, balance, and coordination. Across the world, about 10 million people suffer from this neurodegenerative disease. Until now, Parkinson's disease was considered to be a disease of the brain, but this new data shows that the appendix may play a key role in the development of this disease. Previous studies have shown that people with Parkinson's also suffer from gastrointestinal disorders like constipation at least 10 years before the disease's symptoms appear. Keeping that in mind, researchers decided to take a closer look at the appendix and its potential involvement in the disease. In the recent study, researchers analyzed healthcare registries that contained information on more than 1.6 million people in Sweden over 52 years. They compared the chances of developing Parkinson's disease among those who'd had their appendix removed with those who hadn't. Results showed that those who had the appendix removed early in life had a 20% reduced chance of developing Parkinson's disease. Researchers also looked at another database of about 850 people whose Parkinson's had been carefully followed and found that those who had undergone appendectomies, which is the surgical removal of the appendix, developed the disease 3.6 years later on average than those who still had an appendix. After analyzing 48 samples of appendices taken from people with and without Parkinson's, researchers found that 46 had clumps of alpha-synuclein protein. This protein is found in the brains of Parkinson's patients in the forms of clumps. These clumps are toxic and lead to nerve death. Although synuclein clumps were found in most of the samples, not everyone goes on to develop Parkinson's for reasons that still aren't well understood. But how is it that a clump of toxic proteins in the appendix can be involved in a brain disease? According to researchers, the clumps of alpha-synuclein might travel up the vagus nerve, which connects the digestive system to the brain, and then seed the brain with this destructive protein. If that is the case, then drug therapies can be developed to cut down on the protein's accumulation in the appendix, thereby lowering the risk of Parkinson's. Often, the appendix is considered a useless organ, but contrary to what most people believe, your appendix has a very important function. It helps strengthen and support your immune system. The appendix has a high concentration of immune cells within its walls and functions as a lymphoid organ. Lymphoid organs help the maturation of immune cells called lymphocytes. The human appendix helps in the maturation of specific lymphocytes called B cells. These B cells produce antibodies that attack invading bacteria, viruses, and toxins. Your appendix is also involved in the production of certain molecules that help direct the movement of lymphocytes to various other locations in the body. A type of antibody called immunoglobulin A, or IgA, is produced in the appendix. This antibody plays an important role in mucosal immunity. Your appendix is a storehouse for beneficial bacteria. These good bacteria help the gut recover from infections and protect the intestine from further infection by harmful bacteria. So in the meantime, experts stress that they do not recommend anyone go out and get an appendectomy to cut the risk of Parkinson's. A lot more research is needed to find why the appendix has these clumps in the first place.